Okay, now we'll go inside and take a look at the two chambers in the 4000, the first of which is the buffer. Inside the buffer, we see plows and urethane shoes. These plows take all of the concrete that's being discharged by the drivers and move it into the paddle wheel and these buckets. As the buckets turn, they pick up the material and discharge it into this chute that then takes it from the buffing chamber that then drops it into the wash chamber. The concrete from the buffer is moved into the second chamber or the wash chamber where the buckets drop it onto a chute. All the concrete is dumped into that uh, wash chamber and as it's moved along the bottom of the wash chamber through a series of urethane shoes and these steel plows it's further separated and washed. So now you're separating your sand, your stone, your water, and your cement until it gets to this second row of buckets. The first paddle wheel has solid buckets. This second paddle wheel has slotted buckets so the water can drain while those buckets lift the material out of the water and onto an incline screw which then discharges the material onto a screen. The incline screw coming out of the Bibco is designed identically to the PDC we looked at outside for pump trucks. The difference being we don't have quite the tolerance between the urethane blanket and the flights on the screw. We have about a half inch clearance and that's designed so the water can flow back into the Bibco and we can have as dry as possible material coming out onto the screen above. An important aspect of any reclaimer is the maintenance process and Bibco's design that into each and every unit they make. Something as simple as the water level. You'll notice here that uh, the chute is about six inches below. If you can see where that chute drops down into one of the pits, it's about six inches below where the shaft is. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that your bearings and your seals are out of the muck. Believe it or not, not every manufacturer designs it that way. They've got their bearings and seals sitting in this muck, and that really shortens the life. They're not easy to replace, and they're expensive. So Bibco's gone that extra mile for you by making sure that you can extend the life of your equipment. Bibco provides laminated lubrication charts in close proximity to the lubrication points, such as this Zerk fitting right here, so your personnel know when and where to lubricate critical components. This is the MCC, or Motor Control Center, for the Bibco. This is the brains of the system. Here we have housed the PLC, all of the starters, the breakers, all of the level indicators, all the transformers. This comes completely pre-wired from the factory and it can be wired for 230 or 460 volts depending upon your individual requirements.